one of the keys to breastfeeding is to stay hydrated. Um, you want to drink a good bit of water when you're breastfeeding. Mm -hmm. um, you also need to eat more because you're burning a lot of calories breastfeeding. Sure. And How many more calories though? I don't know the exact number, but it's a lot. It's something in the multi-hundred calorie range. I think that's kind of one of the big benefits is burning a ton of calories to get rid of some of that extra excess weight that some women may be experiencing. Uh, yeah, you know, some women want to drop all that weight right away. Uh, we all. If you're into that, I mean, yeah, no judgment. We also want you to do it at a, a good, healthy pace. Right, of course. Uh, and being healthy for yourself and the baby, that's obviously the most important thing. Um, but yes, that is obviously a struggle. And, uh, you know, with my background and my research and exercise and how it plays into the postpartum period, we, that's actually something we can talk about here at Aspira. Um, but, you know, I think staying hydrated is really important for mm -hmm. breastfeeding and staying, you know, nutritionally balanced is really important. Um, and then we also talked about, you know, physically what it feels like to have to be breastfeeding. Um, you know, sometimes the baby doesn't latch and you want to talk to the pediatrician about that. Sometimes um, they're really aggressive. Yes. <laughs> um, sometimes they come out as sharks and they have four, four <laughs> rows of teeth. But, um, you, you know, we have lactation consultants who are trained mm -hmm. to help with that. Um, so best case scenario, breastfeeding goes fine. Do I know anybody who really has gone through the best case scenario of breastfeeding? No, not really. But I know lots of healthy babies and lots of women who've made it through. We are trained to give you that support and we want you to come in and get that support.